Good morning, Quickcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a neat new little micro FPV flyer. This is the Ishin Aurora 68, the little brother of the Ishin Aurora 90. Let's go over details of the 68. It comes with a 48 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt uh, FPV transmitter, all in one transmitter with on screen display. Um, it also comes with these are little 11,500 kV motors. Uh, these things spin up to very high RPM, folks. That, that means, uh, and the main reason being, see these tiny little props? These tiny little props, in order to provide enough lift to lift this thing, must spin at very high RPMs. So this is going to be interesting, seeing how those perform. Uh, to power these motors, it comes with 10 amp um, ESCs with D-Shot 600 uh, capable. Um, they are also capable for 1S or 2S batteries. Um, it's, I don't think it can use a 3S battery, but uh, it comes with a 400 milliamp or hour 2S battery, but I'd be curious to see how this operates with a 1S battery since supposedly it's theoretically capable of doing such. Um, it has an omnibus F3 uh, uh, flight controller on here, uh, capable of... Uh, Actually, it's got Betaflight 3.1 loaded, but you can uh, flash it to other you know, newer versions of Betaflight. Um, it comes with a Larson scan <laughs> back LED here, you know, with a Cylon Centurion scan <laughs> on the back. And uh, also, it's capable of bind and fly. It comes in bind and fly versions for uh, DSM2, DSMX, Fly Sky, and Free Sky. So that's it in a nutshell. So let's take this thing, little thing for a flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy its flight. Okay, here we go with the uh, Ishin Aurora 68. Hope you enjoy this flight. Uh, before I mention, uh, let me mention this. I have this set up in beta flight. This is angle. This will be air mode. And this will be acro mode. And we're going to be flying in acro. So, let's go into flight. Arming the motors. And away we go. Now the advantage of this little quadcopter is supposed to be good for indoor flying. And we are going to see if that's true. First thing we're going to do is try to thread the needle. <laughs> and that was unsuccessful. Hold on, folks. We should have got a feel for it first before attempting that. Okay, arming the motors again, and away we go again. Let's see how it flies. Ooh, it's a fast little thing for, for a little thing. Oh my gosh, it's a fast little thing. A little too fast. <laughs> okay, let's slow it down now. Going through the trees. I'm not going to attempt the thread in the needle just yet until I get a feel for it. Oh, okay, let's take it up now and try this. And this. <laughs> it can do both. <laughs> Going up again and trying that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is uh, actually a nifty little quadcopter. Here are those motors whining. My goodness, they're operating at high RPM. A uh, signal there. I don't know why I lost signal there for a second. <laughs> but I'm glad I was able to pull it out. Whoa! <laughs> this thing, this thing can fly. My goodness, this thing can move. Oops. Oh, I don't know what happened there, folks. Hold on. Let me make sure. I'm... Did a little flip of death there. I'm not sure why. But let's, we still got some battery power on it. Let's go for a flight again, arming it, and going back to the air. I'm not sure what happened there with that flip of death. <laughs> but I still got power 6.3. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I got to watch my battery power on this thing. 6.7 volts. 6.5. Okay, let's fly it. Let's fly it a little more uh, gentle now. It's getting bouncy now. I guess the power is getting a little bit low. Let's try that thread in that needle again. Yeah. <laughs> Did it that time. So, uh, yeah, the voltage is getting low. I'm bringing her in. And 
that's about the flight time you get. You know, it was getting down there close to 6.2 volts. I didn't, I didn't want to go all the way into uh, three volt territory for those cells. <laughs> that was pretty low there. So that's about the flight time you get with it. But my goodness, this thing, this little thing is a fast little <laughs> quadcopter, very responsive. Um, uh, it can do its flips, it can do its rolls. Uh, I did encounter a flip of death there. I don't know what caused that, what was the reason for that. I got a lot of pollen on this too, I just noticed now from this, flying this. But uh, yeah, it's a nifty little quadcopter for the, for being uh, an Ishin. Look at all that pollen I got in there. I don't, I'm going to have to dust that out of there. So, hope you enjoyed this flight of the Ishin Aurora. This is my first flight with it, uh, Aurora 68. Again, the little brother of the Aurora 90, this quadcopter 101. Signing out.